President Akufuado on Monday, the 18th of October 2021, in a radio interview in Cape Coast as part of his tour of the central region, stated emphatically that he did not promise the people of Cape Coast a harbor ahead of the 2020 elections. His statement, however, came as a shock to many Cape Coasters and generated several arguments in the public space. Even though the president has admitted he erred and has apologized, the NDC in Cape Coast is not satisfied with his apology. The Cape Coast North Constituency Secretary of the NDC, Simon Peter Deche, maintained that the people of Cape Coast voted for the president because of the harbor and airport promise and that an apology was not enough. He called for a more detailed explanation from the president. Coasters voted for him in the presidential because he had promised them the harbor and the airport. So at the time the people were casting their votes for Kweku Ricketts and Kwam Namintai Akun to become MP for Cape Coast South and North respectively, they were thinking of Akufuado's promise of harbor and airport. And that made them to vote for him in both elections. So let the MPP wake up. Central Region ND MPP led by Chairman Kutin, let them wake up. NDC over the years has championed the interest and the development of Cape Coast whenever the party comes to power. We are throwing the challenge to them. They should go to the president and tell them that Cape Coast deserves better and that this is not the time to change the rhetoric. I have heard some of you, even the media, asking today as to whether Cape Coast really needs an airport or a harbor. At the time, the MPP told us that they had done visibility studies. They had sent the then aviation minister, Kofiada, uh, the late, came down. They visited certain places and told us that those were the places that had been EMR for the airport and that funding had been secured. Are they now telling us that those projects are not needed and they are not feasible? Earlier, at a press conference in Cape Coast, the Cape Coast South Constituency Secretary for the NDC, George Arthur, called on the president to, as a matter of urgency, construct the harbor as promised in the NPP's manifesto or resign. To read page 160 of MPP's manifesto, it clearly states that we are going to build harbor and airport in Cape Coast. As a party that has the interests of the good people of Cape Coast, we are asking the president, listen here carefully, we are asking the president and his vice to fulfill their commitments and promise to the good people of Cape Coast. From Cape Coast, my name is Georgina Pia, reporting for City News.